Okay, good morning, everybody. My name is Ian Shepard, and I am the owner of Right Start Newcomer Services. So welcome to today's English lesson. Uh, we are learning English together. Welcome to Learn Canadian English. Uh, but before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge that Right Start Newcomer Services conducts business in Chibuktuk, which is how you say Halifax in the Mi'kmaq language. Halifax is part of the ancestral unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. This means that when settlers came, the indigenous people did not surrender their territory and instead signed treaties with Europeans. As a business, we're committed to upholding these treaties as we continue to build relationships between settlers, newcomers, and Mi'kmaq people. So welcome to today's live stream. How's everybody doing today? It's a, it's a beautiful Monday here in Halifax and I hope it is beautiful wherever you are in the world. So say hello in the comments section, uh, participate in today's lesson by asking questions, giving your answers, uh, what else, saying hello. Uh, yeah, so any question you wanna ask, I will do my best to answer it. And I see we have one person here, Rodrigo's here. Hello, Ian, good morning. Hello, Rodrigo, I hope you are doing well. And if I remember correctly, you are in Chile, so I hope it is nice there. And Maria's here too. Hi, Maria. I, I don't know if I've met you before, but uh, thank you so much for joining today's live stream and just let us know maybe where you are and a little bit more about yourself, Maria. And Bay's here. Hey, Bay. Bay is in Brazil. Uh, welcome back, Bay. And I hope you're doing well and that the weather is nice there in Brazil. Okay, great. So we have some viewers, we have some participants in today's lesson. Uh, Maria's from Argentina. Very cool. Okay, great. Uh, I haven't been to Argentina before, but I would love to go someday. And Maria, so you're new. Great. Everybody's got to be new sometimes. So today's your day to be the new student. And Michelle says, hi. Hi, Michelle. Nice scooter. And if you don't know, Michelle is my wife. And she likes to participate in these live streams. She's my number one volunteer. Uh, Maria will study in NSCC in September. That's great, Maria. So you've got a plan. You're coming to Halifax, I guess. Um, great. So this will maybe help you prepare to buy your groceries in Halifax. And hey, Edwin, great to see you. I'm so glad we have so many students. I'm so glad people are participating. And if you're watching the replay later, feel free to comment and I will get to all of your comments and questions if you're watching the replay later. Okay, so let's move on and talk about today's lesson. So we have a good one today. Today is all about going grocery shopping. And this lesson is best for sort of a, a middle or high beginner level of English. So today we're gonna talk about quite a few things. Uh, first of all, we are going to talk about, oh, by the way, it, yeah, I know it looks like I'm in the grocery store. That's fake. This is actually a green screen and uh, I just thought it would be cool to make it look like I'm actually in the grocery store. And of course, you can't go into the grocery store these days without a mask. So I would be breaking all kinds of rules. Okay, so today's lesson, we are going to talk about grocery shopping. We're going to have a little discussion activity. We're gonna play a little vocabulary game to get your minds working and see what you already know about going grocery shopping. Uh, then we're gonna go over a few useful questions and expressions for the grocery store. Talk a little bit about Canadian culture. So if you live in Canada or you know about Canada, you know that groceries are very expensive. So we're gonna talk about a few ways we can save money on groceries. Then we have a little grammar point. We are going to talk about quantifiers. And if you don't know what quantifiers are, pay attention, stick with this lesson and you will find out later. And then we're gonna do some practice. So we are going to make a grocery list together, my grocery list. And you're gonna help me get my groceries today. Okay, does that sound good? Hopefully it does. Uh, remember, comment as you wish ask questions as you wish, and I'll try to cover all of those. All right, let's talk a little bit. So you can put your discussion in the comment section. So I just have a few questions to get you thinking about groceries. Uh, number one, do you like grocery shopping? 
Number two, where do you buy your groceries? So if you're in Canada, what stores do you go to? If you're overseas, maybe they have similar stores there. So where do you usually get your groceries? Uh, number three, what do you always buy when groceries shopping? So what do you really like to buy or what are things that you buy almost every time you go to the store? Number four, how has COVID, so that's the disease that's all around the world, changed the way you buy groceries? So now you can buy groceries online in some places, by telephone, maybe you go shopping less. So how has COVID-19 changed the way you buy groceries? And last one, as I said, Canada is very expensive. What about where you live? Are groceries expensive? where you are. So think about some of these questions and answer one or two of the questions. So I'd love to hear from some different people, give you a chance to practice your typing and get you thinking about groceries as we start today's lesson. So I'll give you a few seconds to think and put your answers into the comment section. Maybe while you're thinking and writing, I will answer the questions for myself. So number one, do I like grocery shopping? Not really. Um, sometimes it's okay, it's nice to get out of the house, but with COVID and all the restrictions, you have to wear masks, you have to stand apart, you have to follow the arrows. So now in Canada, they have arrows on the ground and they tell you which way you have to go and nobody follows the rules. So. I don't know what's wrong with Canadian people, but we do not follow the arrows in the grocery store. So that is a big pain. Um, so right now I don't really like grocery shopping. Where do I buy my groceries? I go to mainly two stores, Costco. If you've heard of Costco, I shop there and Walmart. I do most of my grocery shopping at Walmart and Costco. What do I always buy? Uh, that's a good question. So I always buy Hmm. Coffee, cream for my coffee. Uh, what else? Some vegetables, uh, fruit, vegetables. Um, what else? Tea. I drink a lot of green tea and bread. I like to have toast in the morning for breakfast, so I buy a lot of bread. Uh, number four, how has COVID-19 changed the way I buy groceries? Well, now I go less. I go maybe once a week where before I was going maybe twice a week. So I only go shopping one time per week and I buy groceries for the whole family at the same time. Are groceries expensive? Yes, they are very expensive in Canada, but we will talk about some tips to lower the cost of our groceries. Okay, those are my answers. Let's check out your answers. So let's start with Michelle, my wife. So during COVID, no, I don't like it. Me too, baby. Uh, number two, Walmart, Superstore, Sobeys. Okay, so those are two other stores here in Halifax. Superstore, Sobeys, those are more local grocery stores. Uh, always buy salad, yes. We eat a lot of salad, so we both like to buy salad. Thank you, Michelle, good job. And Bay, actually I hate grocery shopping because there's too much people too much noise, it is very stressful. So I agree with you. Uh, yeah, so let's say too many people, they. So instead of too much people, let's say too many people. But other than that, your answer is great. It is very stressful for a lot of people. Okay, great job. Uh, Rodrigo, groceries like vegetables here in Chile is very cheap, let's say are very cheap. We do not have an organic culture yet. Okay, so here in Canada, you'll see a lot of organic products. Organic means they don't use chemicals when they grow them. So there are quite a few organic fruits, vegetables, but they are expensive. So in Chile, maybe they don't have organic food yet, um, but maybe you'll see that over the coming years. Okay, great answer, Rodrigo. Thank you for sharing. Uh, they always buys coffee, tapioca, and fruit. Okay. Awesome. Tapioca, is that like a pudding or something? 
I'm not really sure. I know tapioca pudding, but I don't know what else tapioca is used for. Okay, great job, Bay. Uh, Maria says, I think I will go to Costco because everybody says it's cheaper. I buy a lot of food for my kids. Yes, so in my experience, Costco is cheaper because everything comes in big sizes. So I'll show you later. When you buy coffee, it's a big coffee. When you buy toilet paper, you get 50 rolls of toilet paper. So Costco is cheaper mainly because it's big sizes, but also you need a membership. So think about the membership cost. It costs about $60 per year for a Costco membership. Okay, great answer. Uh, spelling, because. How do you spell because, Maria? B-E-C-A-U-S-E. -E. And everybody, E-V-E-R-Y, B-O-D-Y, everybody. Great, other than that, excellent answer. Thank you for sharing, Maria. And kids, yes, kids eat a lot, so kids are expensive for getting their groceries. Uh, Ian, do you buy vegetables in the supermarket? Yes, I do. Um, there aren't a lot of just like fruit and vegetable stores here in Halifax, but in the bigger cities there are, like Toronto, Vancouver, Montreal. I do buy my vegetables in the supermarket. Sometimes I might go to the farmer's market, usually in the summer. There might be local fresh fruits and vegetables and they might be a bit cheaper in the summertime. So if you come to Halifax, the, the fruit is very good in the summer because we grow a lot of fruit. So strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, apples are very good here too. So I'm making myself hungry just talking about it. Okay, good question, but yes, I do buy most of my fruits and vegetables in the supermarket. You're welcome, Bay. So I'm, I'm glad I can help. And Edwin says, he does, he likes shopping. And two, he always buys vegetables and fruit at the grocery store. Uh, number four, nowadays, he needs to use a mask before going, let's say, going inside the grocery store. So, yes, pretty much everywhere you are, you'll have to wear a mask to go into the grocery store. Spelling, because and everybody, you fixed your spelling. So, great job, Maria. Okay, great. So this activity was to get you thinking about groceries, getting your mind in the right space for today's lesson. Uh, so let's move on. Let's play a little game. Uh, so for this one, I suggest you get a piece of paper. We're going to check your vocabulary and check your spelling. So we'll see how you do. For each picture, I'm going to show you a picture. You write the word that I'm showing. So I'll give you about 10 seconds per picture. Write the word that you see in the picture. Super easy, okay? Number one, what is that thing that you use to... You can put your answers in the comment section and we'll see who's first. So the thing that you put your groceries in when you're in the store to carry them around. What is that thing called? Okay. Anybody get that one? You guys still there? Can you hear me? Are we good? Oh, here's a guess. So, strolly or stroller? Good guess, but I'm going to have to say no. A stroller, S-T-R-O-L-L-E-R, -L -L -E would be for children. So children are pushed in a stroller, but for shopping, we call it, Rodrigo got it, a shopping cart. So cart, C-A-R-T. This is a shopping cart. Very good, Rodrigo. One point for you, Rodrigo. Uh, if you're taking notes, you can give yourself a correct answer. Spelling, a shopping cart. Great, let's go to number two. See if you know this one. So this is the, the space between the two 
things of food. So what do we call the space in the middle? And I'll give you a clue. It starts with A, the letter A. Oh, uh, Maria was laughing, something like that. Yeah, it was something like that. It was a cart, uh, ha, ha, ha. Okay, Maria, I have no idea. Well, that's why we're here. We're here to learn. So uh, does anybody else have any idea what we would call the space between the, the shelves of food? Okay. Guess nobody got it, so I will give you the answer. It is called an aisle. Aisle. So it's it's pronounced differently than the way it's spelled. So aisle, a i l a i s l e. The s is silent. So this is an aisle, not an azel. We don't say azel. We say aisle because the s is silent. And Rodrigo got it. So he's got the spelling an aisle. That's a hard one. So. If you got it, great. If you didn't, let's pick up the pieces and move on, okay? Great job, guys. Number three. So I want to know not what these are, but what is the section that has all of the fruits and vegetables? So the part of the store or the section that has fruits and vegetables. What do we call fruits and vegetables in the grocery store? And it starts with a P. Starts with a P, okay. Uh, again, I'm looking for the section where all of the fruits and vegetables are in the grocery store. So this is Bawani, okay, hey Bawani. Long time no see. Those are peppers, you are absolutely correct. Those are peppers, green peppers, yellow peppers, red peppers, orange peppers. But I wanna know the name of the section in the store where you find the peppers and fruits, vegetables, all of those things. So, hi Bawani, nice to see you again, but I'm looking for the name of the section. Okay, uh, I don't see anybody with the right answer there, so. This is called the produce section. Uh, this is called the produce section. So we call produce things that are fruits and vegetables. So if you're looking for the fruits and vegetables, you can go ask them, where is the produce section? Not produce section, produce, produce section. Okay, we learned another one. Let's move on. This is the section with all the cheese and the milk and the cream. So anything that comes from cow's milk or goat milk would be in this section. So I'm, again, I'm looking for the section name, not don't say cheese, but what section is the cheese and milk and stuff in? And it starts with the letter D. So I'm looking for an answer with the letter D. Oh, Lena, you're so close. Uh, Lena's back, hey, Lena. So Lena said dairy, D-A-R-Y, but then she corrected and said diary. Oh, you're so close. Uh, a diary is a book that you write in. A little girl will write in her diary. One more try. Lena, how do you spell this section? You're so close. Anybody else help Lena with her spelling? Bay got it, okay. Yes, it's the dairy section. Very good, Bay. So you were so close, Lena. You just had the letters in a little bit the wrong order, but Bay helped you up. So thank you very much, Bay, and great job, Lena. So yes, this is the dairy section. And Bawani got it, dairy. Good job. 
So dairy is the section with the cheese and the, the milk and all that stuff and butter. All right, so for this one, don't say coffee. I want to know what the, the coffee is sitting on. So the coffee is sitting on what? And the, the answer starts with S in this case. You got it, Lena. Okay, good job. So what are the coffee and the other things sitting on in the grocery store? Uh, breakfast section, maybe not. And I think Maria got it. So they are on shelves. Good, so one shelf, S-H-E-L-F, very good. But we can also say many shelves. So shelves is the plural form of shelf. Great job, Maria. Maria got that one. Okay. Great job, you guys. You're doing great. We're halfway through. Um, so this is the person who works at the grocery store and takes your money. So who do you pay at the end when you are finished shopping? And Bay got it. Great, good job, Bay. Uh, I know there is a delay. So if you're watching on Facebook, there might be a 10 second delay from when you hear me and when I actually see your answers. So if you're on YouTube, you actually have a better chance to answer the questions faster. So maybe next time you wanna watch on YouTube instead. It might be a little bit better if you're, you're a student for this lesson. Okay, so who is the person who you pay at the end? And we have two correct answers. Uh, Rodrigo got it, cashier. Jalile got it, hey Jalile, you must be working from home again because of the pandemic. Welcome to today's lesson. Yes, that is the cashier. And Bawani got the last one. Coffee shelves, you got it, buddy. Olga's here, hey Olga. Uh, that is definitely the cashier and Lena got it too. So great job, you guys. This is the cashier who accepts your payment. Uh, good way to remember is, is if they take your cash. Right, they take your cash, so that person is a cashier. Uh, Julile says, hi, yes, you're working online. Thanks, that's great. Uh, anyway, it makes it easier for you to join us for these lessons, Julile. Okay, so what I wanna know here is the piece of paper. So what is the paper you get after you pay that has a list of all the items you paid and how, sorry, all the items you bought and what you paid for them. So what is the paper here called? All right, I'll give you a few seconds. Uh, a little tip is to always check this paper and make sure that there's no mistakes. Because in Canada, if you ma they make a mistake, you can get the item for free. In most cases, if the item is less than $10, they will give you the item for free if they make a mistake on your bill. So always watch, always check your bill or the other thing I'm looking for after. So we have some answers. Um, bill, yeah, some people call it a bill. Um, so it could be a bill. Usually bill is used more like in a restaurant. Here, we might call it something else. And Rodrigo got it again. This is, uh, is your spelling correct? Uh, check your spelling, Rodrigo. And Lena got it this time. So it is a receipt. Receipt, listen to the pronunciation. The P, the P is there, but the P is silent. So we say receipt, not receipt. Okay, so it is a receipt. Good job, Lena, you got that one. Rodrigo, so close but your I and your E were reversed. Uh, Julile got it. Invoice, that's a good answer, Rodrigo. So that's used more for businesses, right? So if a business charges me for a service, they will send me an invoice, but we wouldn't use that in the grocery store. Uh, receipt equals bill equals invoice. They are very similar words. They're similar, but they're not exactly the same, right? So in the store, we get a receipt. Okay, 
Great answers, you guys. You're doing great. Receipt, there's your answer that with the correct spelling. What is this that you might see in the door of the store or throughout the store that gives you information or prices or tell you when it's open or closed? What is this thing called? We have a visitor. Uh, my cat came to visit. She's very interested in today's lesson. What are you doing, Gracie? Okay, so any answer to what this thing is starts with S, four letters. It's a four letter word, but not a bad one. Okay, so what is this called? Anybody still there? Yeah, I see eight people viewing. Should be an easy one. Label, good guess. Uh, no, it's not a label. Label is on the package, right? So if I pick up a package of um, pills, the label will be the thing on the, the pill bottle. Okay, Olga got it. Great job, Olga. That is a sign. Uh, to sign, yeah, this is a sign. Usually sign would be on a wall or door or on the top of the shelves. A tag would be actually on the item. Like you buy a new shirt, that would have a tag that tells you how much the price is. Okay, and the store is open. Yes, we can enter, but I was looking for the word sign. And Halima's here. Hey, Halima, uh, how's it going? So thank you for joining us, and I hope you learned something today. Uh, but Halima has very good English. Jalile has very good English. All you guys have good English. But hopefully you can learn a couple words or a little bit from today's lesson. Uh, symbol of shop, what time it is open. Yeah, so let's just call it a sign. So sign, there are sign signs everywhere you go. Okay. So a sign. Again, the pronunciation. So the G is silent. And this is a called a sign, not a sign. It's a sign. Okay, two more. What is the person carrying to carry his or her groceries? So some people don't need a cart. They only buy a few groceries, so they get this thing that they carry around the store. Uh, so Halima said, like my session. So. I guess that means you like the sessions. Uh, thank you, Halima. I really appreciate it. And thank you for coming. Tell all of your clients about it. Um, share it with everybody you know, because the more people who watch, the better our sessions can be. All right, thanks. And Bawani says a bucket. Mm, is it a bucket? Not quite a bucket. Better to call it a basket. Yes, so I think Olga got it. Let's call it a basket or grocery basket. Um, Rodrigo, I'm not sure. Grocery cest. That's a new word for me, Rodrigo. I don't know what cest means. Uh, so let's go with basket. It is a shopping basket. Shop. <laughs> Shop buckets, nasky. You got the shop, you got the bucket. I don't know what a nasky is. <laughs> yeah, um, let's just call it a basket. I like that word nasky, uh, but that's a new one for me. Okay, buddy. Yes, bay, it's a basket. Okay, so shopping basket. Buoni, you got me laughing. Okay, and the last one. Sorry, I'm gonna take off your comment there, Bay. Uh, so, what? Not it. What is the card? We know credit card. What is the machine that you can use to pay with? So now you can pay credit card. I can pay with my watch by tapping this machine. Oh yeah, awesome shopping basket. Okay, great, Bowani. Uh, but you got me laughing, and uh, now I don't think I can stop. All right, so what is the machine 
that the person uses to pay for their groceries? This is a hard one, and I'll give you a clue. It starts with the letter T. Letter T. I got. Oh, good guess, Bawani. You're so close. So, tapping machine, very close because you do tap your your card on it. Um, but that's not quite the answer I was looking for. So think about it. If anybody knows, let us know. Gracie's here. So everybody say hi to Gracie. I'll let you look at her while you're answering the final one. Okay, say bye, Gracie. We're working here. Learning English is hard work, right? Can't have cats around. Okay, so I don't see the answer for the last one. Um, I was looking for terminal. So the terminal is the machine that you use to pay. Uh, and you'll find terminals now in grocery stores, restaurants, sort of all over the place. Okay, so that was the last one, a terminal. Any questions? So we can go back if you're not sure of any of the answers. Uh, good guess, transit machine. That's a good guess. Um, but yeah, we would probably use transit more for transportation. And let's just say terminal. Terminal, I think, is probably the best answer. Oh, Bawani has to go to work. Okay, Bawani, have a great day at work and hopefully see you back another day. Okay, you're very welcome. See you, Bawani. So let's just call it a terminal. So I think that's probably the best word for it. Okay, so how did you do? How many out of the 10 did you get correct? Did you know all 10 words? Did you know half of the words? None of the words. So in your opinion about how many of those words did you know? What are you doing? No, that's not a great idea. Come on, come on. No, you're gonna type things, get us in trouble. Okay, so how did you do? Just curious, did you get half? Did you get all of them? Think about it, and that sort of gives you an idea if you need to practice more. Uh-oh, uh Bay says, thumbs down. That's okay, I, I know you got some, Bay, but maybe you learned a few words, and next time you'll do a little bit better. Okay, so don't get down on yourself. This is all just a learning experience, right? And we're having fun learning together. Uh, Rodrigo got six. Hey, that's pretty good, Rodrigo. So more than half, that's great. Uh, hopefully you learned a few words as we went through that. Okay, Bay's doing okay, that's good. All right, so let's move on. Uh, we've got a few more things I wanna cover before the end of the, today's lesson. Here, Gracie, what are you doing? Come on, come on, you're being a pain. Okay, sorry about that. Gracie's being a bit of a pain today. Um, two. Oh no. That's okay, Maria. Uh, you still have time to prepare before you come to Canada and you go to our grocery store. So don't worry about it. And remember, this will be recorded so you can go back and rewatch the lesson to see, you know, review the words that maybe you didn't know the first time around. Okay, so here's just some useful questions for the grocery store. Maybe you can think of more. If you think of other useful questions or expressions for the grocery store, just put them in the comment section and I'll check your spelling and your grammar for you. Uh, so first thing I thought of is where? Where are the tomatoes? Where are the, the um, pills? Um, where are the vitamins? Where is the produce section? So often we might have to find somebody and ask them where we can find certain things. How much? So this is a great question when we want to know the cost. How much are these beans? Maybe it doesn't have a sign. 
maybe it doesn't have a label and we want to know the cost. So where is a good question? How much is a good question? Can you tell me where the meat section is? So this is just a little bit more polite than asking where is the meat? Can you tell me where the meat section is? We want to know if something is on sale. So maybe we ask, are bananas on sale? Because maybe we saw here in Canada, we have flyers, which are paper or online, and it tells us what sales are coming up this week. So we might ask, are bananas on sale? Coupons, some people shop with coupons. So those are little pieces of paper or could be on your phone that lower the price of the items you buy. So do you take coupons on shampoo or something like that? Where, maybe I don't know where to pay. So where do I pay for my groceries? Uh, nowadays, they have two sections. Most stores have a regular checkout and a self checkout. So I have to scan my groceries and do everything myself. We call that a self checkout. And maybe we find something, maybe we're new in Canada, we don't know what something is, right? Because the groceries here are probably different than you're used to back home. So maybe we ask, what are these? I don't know what they are. Can you tell me what to do with them? So these are just some expressions that I thought of, but you can make your own, right? Um, maybe you wanna write these down, take them with you to the store so you will be able to ask some questions when you arrive at the grocery store in Canada. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's move on to the next section. Okay, this is the cultural section. Let's go over a few tips for saving money at the grocery store. Because as we said a few times, it's so expensive in Canada, right? I would say maybe $100 a week per adult, right? So maybe per month I'm paying three or $400 for my groceries. So it can be pretty expensive depending on where you shop, the things you buy and how big your family is. So let's go over some tips while we're doing it, if you think of some tips, how you save money at the grocery store, please put them in the comment section. Okay, number one, make a grocery list and stick to it. That's a good one. So make a list, write down all the groceries you need and only buy things that are on that list. Okay, sometimes they try to trick you. They put nice things near the checkout they want you to buy things because they say, oh, there's chocolate or candy or chips. And then you add those to your cart because they look good and you're hungry. So make a list, only stick to the list. Second one, don't go shopping when you're hungry. So some people wait until they're hungry to go buy their groceries. That's a mistake because they buy more and they spend more money. Number three, carry your groceries instead of using a cart. So if you use a basket instead of a cart, you will shop faster, you will buy less stuff because it's heavy, you just wanna get in and get out. So if you really wanna save money, don't use a cart. They make them very big, so you put more and more stuff in them. So use a basket, don't use a cart. Use coupons. Sometimes you can find coupons that can lower the cost. Another way is to check the flyers. So check flyers before you go shopping and only buy when something is cheap. Great. This is a tricky one if you have children. So don't bring kids if you can help it because kids, I don't have kids, but I hear kids always ask for something. They say, mom, can I have this? Daddy, can I have that and this and that? And then they cry if you don't give them what they want. So maybe it's better to leave the kids at home with a babysitter or a partner or a friend or something like that. Number six, avoid buying junk food. So junk food is chocolate, chips, cookies, 
those things cost a lot of money. Well, sometimes they're cheap, but they don't actually do anything good for you, right? You can eat a bag of chips and still be hungry. So they don't really help you and they do cost a lot of money. This is one that I use. When I go to Costco, I buy in bulk. So bulk means a lot, big quantities of the things that I use. And it's usually cheaper if you buy things in big sizes. And last one, shop in discount stores. So like I said, my favorite stores are Costco and Walmart. To me, those are cheaper than Sobeys, Superstore, and some of the other stores. Uh, here in Canada, farmers markets are usually very expensive too. So choose the stores you shop in and you can save a lot of money that way. Okay, I don't see any comments. If you have other ideas for saving money, let us know. And we are going to move on to the last two things of today's lesson. So we're gonna talk a little bit about quantifiers. So if you haven't heard the word quantifier before, these are words or phrases used to express the amount or quantity of something. And common ones are like a few or a lot, or some, but we have some quantifiers that are mainly used for groceries and food. For example, bread. We don't say one bread, right? We don't say two breads, three breads, four breads. We have to say loaf. So a loaf of bread is the right quantifier. So in this case, the quantifier is loaf. Number two, a can of tuna. So the other quantifier is can. Many things come in a can. For example, um, can you see this? <laughs> it doesn't show up because it's green. Uh, but this, this is a can of beans. Okay. Uh, next one, a box. So many grocery items come in a box, such as pasta, a box of pasta. Soap, a bar of soap. A roll of toilet paper. So some things come in a roll. A package, some things come in a package like meat, a package of meat. Bananas, so a group of bananas we would call a bunch of bananas. Some things come in a glass jar, for example, a jar of jam. Some things like milk come in a carton. So we can say a carton of milk. Some things come in bags like chips or lettuce. So we can say a bag of lettuce some things come in a block. We can say a block of cheese. And last one, toothpaste. Toothpaste comes in a tube. So we can say a tube of toothpaste. So read those over, see if you understand, and let me know if you have any questions about those. So loaf of bread, can of tuna, box of pasta, bar of soap, a roll, a roll of toilet paper, a package of meat, a bunch of bananas, a jar of jam, a carton of milk, a bag of lettuce, a block of cheese, and a tube of toothpaste. So let me know if you don't understand. I can draw them if you really want, uh, if you have a question about any of them. For example, a loaf of bread. That's a loaf, and then usually it's cut into slices. That's supposed to be a loaf of bread. A six pack, okay, yeah. Uh, Rodrigo has one. A six pack of beer or um, soda pop, we call soda pop here in Canada. 
So yes, things come in six. So a six pack of beer. So a six pack of beer would be like one can, two, three, and then one, two, three. So some things come in sixes. So that would be a six pack of beer. Uh, yes, Maria. So you can say a package of toilet paper. So sometimes they sell a single roll or they sell a package of maybe six or 12 or when I go to Costco, I get a package of 30 rolls of toilet paper. So the roll is kind of like that. That's a roll, but you can get a package of two, five, 10, 20 rolls. Okay, uh, Irene's here. Hey, Irene, welcome from Russia. Welcome to today's lesson. And Rodrigo has another question, a dozen eggs. Yes, uh, I think I forgot to put that one on here, but often we sell things like eggs uh, in a dozen. So, and then you see one, two, three, four, five, six eggs, and then you'll have six more. So you can say like a dozen eggs, uh, or you can say a carton, that's another word, carton. A carton of eggs. Great, I forgot to put that one on there too. A dozen eggs, don't say a dozen of eggs, Rodrigo, so just a dozen eggs. Great. Uh, a roll is individual. Okay, yes, so one roll, but you can have a package of many rolls. Okay, great questions. Um, sorry about the drawing. I know I'm not the best artist in the world, but I do my best. Okay, so let's move on. We are going to have a practice activity. Whoops. Um, so this practice, you're going to listen. Uh, I left a message for my wife to pick up my groceries. I want you to listen to my grocery list two ways. You can either write it down as you hear it, or you can just listen and try to remember. So you can try to memorize my grocery list. So it's, it's about a minute long. We can listen twice if you want, okay? So everybody have a pencil, or you can just try to listen and memorize my grocery list. Okay, that's a little quiet. Let's start again. All right, everybody listen to my grocery list and write down or memorize what I say. Hi, sweetie. I was wondering if you could get my groceries for me tonight. I'd like three bars of soap a big can of coffee, a block of cheese, a bag of sweet potatoes, a bag of avocados, a jar of peanut butter, two cartons of cream, a roll of paper towel, a jar of medium salsa, a package of toilet paper, a bunch of bananas, four cans of black beans, six cans of cat food, a bottle of olives, a box of spaghetti, a tube of toothpaste, a dozen eggs, a bottle of olive oil, and two loaves of bread. Thank you, sweetie. I'll pay you back later. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, so quite a few grocery items on my list. I'm gonna give you a chance to listen again because I know that was pretty fast. Take a second, we're gonna listen one more time and then we'll go over what is actually on my grocery list. Hi, sweetie. I was wondering if you could get my groceries for me tonight. I'd like three bars of soap a big can of coffee, a block of cheese, a bag of sweet potatoes, a bag of avocados, a jar of peanut butter, two cartons of cream, a roll of paper towel, a jar of medium salsa, a package of toilet paper, a bunch of bananas, 
four cans of black beans, six cans of cat food, a bottle of olives, a box of spaghetti, a tube of toothpaste, a dozen eggs, a bottle of olive oil, and two loaves of bread. Thank you, sweetie. I'll pay you back later. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, so we are finished our listening activity. Let's see what you heard. So in the chat, write down one, two, three of the items that you heard, and then we'll go over all of them, and then we're done for today. So what is on my grocery list? So what is on Ian's grocery list? If you have one thing, write it in there. If you can write more than one, that would be great. Uh, or maybe you need to go back. So maybe after today's lesson, you can go back, watch the recording to actually practice writing down all of these items. Okay, so can cans of black beans, uh, four, I think you meant four, Rodrigo. Four cans of black beans. I have my beans right here. You got it, Rodrigo. Okay, very good. So what else did we say besides the four cans of black beans? That's definitely one answer. What else? Uh, I'll give you a clue. Um, oh, it's hard to see. Uh, what does it look like? I know it's kind of invisible because I'm using a green screen. What does that kind of look like? Okay, Rodrigo got another one. Uh, he said two cartons of cream. Yes, so I put cream in my coffee. Two cartons of cream because we drink a lot of coffee and use a lot of cream. Maria got a lot. So a block of cheese. Got it. Roll of paper. Almost. Uh, I think it was paper towel. Bag of sweet potatoes. Yep, gotta have my sweet potatoes. You got that one. Uh, two cartons of cream. You got that one and Rodrigo got that one too. Um, what else? Bars of soap, very good. Block of cheese, very good, Edwin. Uh, bunch of bananas, good job, Rodrigo. Medium salsa. Oh, you got the salsa. So here's the medium salsa. I put it on my tacos and my nachos. And holy cow, Bay got so many. Bag of avocados. Yes, three bars of soap, block of cheese, bag of sweet potatoes, a roll of paper towel, package of toilet paper, box of spaghetti, dozen eggs, a bunch of bananas, a bottle of olives, a tube of toothpaste. Amazing. You got so many, Bay. Way to go. Uh, that was really great. Great spelling, too. Great job. Dozen eggs, Edwin. And a bag of avocados. Where are my avocados? If you don't know avocado, oh, you can't see them because they're green. But trust me, this is a bag of avocados. Um, great job. You guys did amazing. And I think that we got most of them. So, yes, they did a great job, right? She got so many of them. Great job to all of you who took the time to listen, write down the answers. But here's the list. If you wanna check your list, check your spelling, this is the master list. So, three bars of soap. So, soap comes in little bars. So we say three bars of soap, a big can of coffee. So I go to Costco and get this big mother can of coffee. Block of cheese, I get a big block of cheese from Costco. We talked about sweet potatoes, avocados. Nobody got the peanut butter. Oh, so peanut butter, I always have that on my toast in the morning. Uh, two cartons of cream, Rodrigo got that one, a few of you got that one. Roll of paper towel, so to clean up a mess, and we talked about the medium salsa. Toilet paper, package of toilet paper, 
bunch of bananas, we got the black beans. Nobody said cat food. Did anybody say cat food? No, I don't think so. So uh, six cans of cat food because I have a very hungry kitty at home. Bottle of olives, I think somebody got that one. Box of spaghetti. A tube, so toothpaste will come in a tube. So a tube of toothpaste, dozen eggs, a bottle of olive oil, and two loaves of bread. Wow, you guys did amazing. So I know our time is up for today. Oh, Rodrigo says I was tricky. So a bottle of olives and a bottle of olive oil. So a little bit tricky, yeah. So I said a bottle of olives. Where's my olives? Right, so I wanted a bottle of olives. Let's zoom in there. There's my olives. And I also wanted the oil made from olives. So I know I was a little bit tricky. Sorry, Rodrigo. Uh, I didn't mean to trick you guys. Well, I kind of did. Um, okay, so I think everybody did a really great job. Hopefully today we learned a little bit. Um, we had our discussion, we had a vocabulary game, we learned some words in the store, we went over some useful questions, we talked about tips for saving money, and we talked about quantifiers. So the words like dozen, loaf, can, those are really important when you're going grocery shopping. And then finally, we did our practice activity, and you listened to my grocery list. And Rodrigo, uh, he says, my wife would be angry for the mistake. Yeah, if she said, hey, Rodrigo, get some olives and you brought home olive oil, that wouldn't be a good situation, my friend. So definitely it's important to listen to your wife, husband, partner, and find out exactly what they want. So uh, again, thank you so much for coming. Again, my name's Ian. My business is Right Start Newcomer Services check out the website. There will be some practice activities for this lesson going up. And you can also get the notes. So if you want the notes, the slides from today's lesson, check out the website in a day or so, and I'll have those available on the website. If you want to get in touch, send me an email, info at rightstartcanada.ca. Um, so excellent class. Thank you, Rodrigo. Thank you very much for coming. Hope to see you on Thursday. So Thursday, at 11 o'clock, we'll have another class. And Maria says, thank you, it was a great class. You're very welcome, Maria. Uh, Edwin says, thank you, have a great day. You're very welcome, Edwin, and you're welcome, Bay. Uh, hopefully, I will see you, Bay, and everybody for the next lesson on Thursday. So have a great one, enjoy your day, enjoy grocery shopping, and see you next time.